you know, making a song is like meeting someone for the first time. What? When you listen to the songs, like meeting someone for the first time. So it either it goes in or flies out. Just, just wait for a minute. You put your woman in top, money behind, you're losing a game. Yeah. Ain't gonna go, Think. cause I'm the problem, I'll be okay. Said I'd be fine, never the cause, you're calling a game. I'm standing the lab and I know I'm here. Welcome to episode number six of At The Movies. Now, nah, we're canceling that out. Welcome to episode number one of it's your film. In this show, we'll be watching films, recommending films, and talking a lot of films. Winning guy. Bunchu. Winning guy. The majesty. Winning guy. Winning guy. Nice to meet you, young man. Not now. We had a wonderful cinema experience. They have eight cinemas with two prestige cinemas. You know, prestige, beautiful lounge, beautiful food. They bring it into the cinema. This it was beautiful. Mall of Africa is amazing. You should go check it out. I don't know, guys. Like I don't remember. You know, when we were at Steak and Call the Grove, I pushed the seat back. Maybe I was supposed to press like on this one because you press and then it moves automatically. So I have to go back to uh, the Grove to check. If you want to see the trailer, just check it up here and the pop up. And let's move to the next segment. This is the star seat and I'm sitting with JT the good fella, a music producer and an artist. And I'm also sitting with Lindo Puse Mkombo. You said that. He's a law student and he is doing moves. I'm not going to talk about his moves. Let's talk law student. Keep it simple and that's it. So I'm going to talk to Goodfella first. If I were to ask you a simple question. Lyrics before beats or beats before lyrics? It goes either way. Mm -hmm. um, you can't choose. Uh, there's no strict rule, Guti. Otomega from first time. Yeah. It depends on what you come up with first. O Konotzen in studio, Okaga Bidwe, a PA fees, and come up with the lyrics later. Or some people come through, but with the lyric affair, and they want the beat to be specifically made aligning with the lyric. Yeah. Lindo, oh, I don't want to talk too much about books. I know they say there's too much reading, the books are thicker than my phone thing. Let me show you. The phone things are like this. Look at that. The, 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 they are like this thick, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Talk about books. My younger brother wants to do law. Okay. LLB, I don't know these things. Yeah, so, crazy. yeah, so what would you, what advice would you give him? No, everyone who wanna do law, they can go for it because there are a lot of opportunities when you're doing LLB degree. It's not based on what's maybe in law, or specifically on law. Oh, yeah. There's a more opportunities broad. Oh, you don't have to practice law, law. You don't have to practice law because they are in law. There are a lot. This is broad, like oh, a nah, categories. Oh, like we're talking career opportunities. Yeah, there career are many career opportunities. There are a lot of them. Because okay. when we have LLP degree, any company wants you. Because we have we have a lot of knowledge on business, young talks. Oh, business, like contracts and all these things. Everything. Okay, so, that's nice. Any person who wanna do law, go there, but you must be ready to not sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday something happened. There was a kid that sent me a song. Um, so let me find it on my WhatsApp here. I'm gonna play it. So you put your woman in top, money behind, you losing a game. Yeah. Ain't gonna go, cause I'm the problem, I'll be okay. Question is, I didn't play the whole thing, but you heard it. What's your feeling? 
Do you like the song? Like, look, like, like, okay, okay. Let me play you another one. Let me play you another one. Um, let me play you another one. Let me go for my phone. Winning gang, Winning gang, yeah. Damn, you guys are talking a lot about gone to. I've been meeting fake people. Can you believe it? We're once not in a soul chick. All the groupies are wrong. Get tired of Casey because they're weak as fuck. Men believe ain't lying. I'm pissed. The drawing plans. If he wanted to be signed, would you sign him under your label? Uh, Based on his music, I know you changed a bit to the piano a bit, but based on the music, do you like yeah. the music? I know it's not a music show, but... Yeah, the, the, the songs are dope. The oh, songs nice. are nice. For one. He sounds like a dope artist. He has a broad voice, you know. There are some people very low, they just natural on the mic. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo-ho, and then you like him, of course. I like his sound, um, but whether I would sign him, I don't know, eh? Because uh, it's not kind of your kind of music. many things that go into. Sex. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the okay. Lyrics, uh, you see, I always tell people, Hore, you know, making a song is like meeting someone for the first time. Okay? When you listen to the songs, like meeting someone for the first time. So it either it goes in or flies out. Just, just wait for a minute. Okay. When you get to know the person, that's when you listen to the lyrics. Yes. Yeah. And then you fall more deep with the person. Oh, yes. nice. So when you hear the song the first time, it's like meeting that person for the first time. You like it, or what? but then you're just like, yeah, I like it. Then when you listen to the lyrics, that's when you get to know the person. That's how you fall even deeper with the person. Oh, nice. So yeah, that's why lyrics are very important within the, uh, within the song. That's why it's, who this that is Chris Kirby Ash? It's not your thing. <laughs> okay, Lindo, you heard the song. Do you like it as an audience? Okay. Yeah, it's a nice song. You can listen to it, you can vibe to it. It's okay. hip hop. That's fine. <laughs> so, oh, before I forget, I want you guys to pick one game between these two games. There's um, Marbles. We played those on the last episode. And there's snake and leather. So I want you to pick one. Which one would you rather play between the two? Marbles or snake and leather? Sing me marbles. The Ali. Like they told me this even last time, but hey, I never listened. So let's go play the Ali. What movie did you first watch at the cinema? The first movie was Blue Street, Martin Lawrence, who cinema. Oh, the one yeah, what is the cool one? Uh, Bumblebee, the one. Uh... Blue Street, Martin Lawrence, he acts as a detective. Yeah. A detective. Oh, the one with the diamond. Yeah. Yes. In a way, cinema is not the most basic or the most famous. Oh, what was your movie watching bad experience? I uh, figured out we were watching the movie, people now starting laughing about because I was new, I didn't know so this thing is happening. So, so that was the first time you went to watch Yeah, that was the first time. Okay. It's mine is a kind of a funny one, I'm first time. This one time, I'm first time. I'm I'm first time. 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 So our uh, career ticket, uh, then the only cash we had, Nelo buy the Mari biscuits. Oh, come on, Hara, it's some oh, other place. Oh, Hara, pick and pay. Yeah, that's what I meant. Mari biscuits, you know, it's in a two-minute ride. Bola, ah, my brother, Mari. But then, you move to fit my fellow, my brother, you roll me the zero. I'm not gonna score. Nah, I felt it. Yo, I felt it. <laughs> Who was your first movie crush? Ah, uh, that one is simple. Wherever you are, thank God. <laughs> Sharon Stone. Which movie did you play? Casino. Where she acted as a wife, yeah, Robert De Niro. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. I understand. But then, yeah, I've seen her on a couple of other movies. I don't tell you she was like, eh, no. Megan Good. Oh, no, 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 you're not. 
What movie have you watched repeatedly but never finished? One movie that you watched over and over and over but you've never finished that movie ever in your life. No, I forgot that. Have you watched Django? Django. Unchained. Django. Yeah, Django. Django. Yeah. Yeah. Have, you, have you watched it and finished it? Many times. Oh, then you love it then. I love it. You see, Django had changed at first. I couldn't finish because that thing is long. I think it's four hours or three hours or five hours even. I couldn't finish it at first, but I was like, okay, let me do this thing and watch it. It was like um, during like uh, school holidays. I was at home. I had nothing to do. I ended up watching it. After watching it the first time, uh, those five hours started feeling like one hour, 30 minutes after a while. But I couldn't finish it at first. Lindo. Uh, Avengers. The last Infinity War. Infinity War. Uh, the last one. That movie is too long. <laughs> what is this guy talking about? Here's the thing about <laughs> Avengers. Avengers Infinity War. At first, it's slow. It takes long. But you are in pain <laughs> from the fact that Black Panther has died, Chief. Spider Man. Spider Like everyone has died. So you want that. They are giving us time to to uh, to sink into the pain. You know. You, you know about that movie, ne? Yeah. In the I wanna make that. Oh my God, Thanos. Thanos. Ah, uh, I thought maybe it's uh, okay. Yeah, uh, this movie is boring because it's slow. Like they are trying to tell a story and talk. Then I cut it. <laughs> you didn't see the act. Oh, what? Like because once the second time I finish it. Because once the action starts, you are dead. Who? If like if there's one thing in these years, like since I started watching films or in my life, is Marvel. And that plan of bringing the, the superheroes together, phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four. I'm not gonna dismiss that. This guy is playing. Uh, you know, if there's something you try to watch over and over, but you can't seem to finish, we should go to your And if your I won't remember the name. Oh, <laughs> boop, 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 boop. okay, that's why, right, that's why. Right. When you go to the cinema to watch a film with a girl, who watches? Who chooses the film that you should watch? The girl of yes, the buffy, two years old, two years. Hey, which one am I calling? I'm kidding. I'm just kidding, man. Two years, the lady. What? <laughs> what is going on? We are gentlemen. We are gentlemen. No, 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 no. You see, women, they don't want to choose anything. I've made. I've asked them to choose food. I've asked them to choose films. I've asked them to choose what, what, what. what. I've learned women don't choose. You should choose for them and then they'll say yes or no. <laughs> Usually they never say no because they are worried about your pocket for some reason and what what and what what and what, what because they don't want to pay. If it's a woman who pays, ha, ah, then you are in trouble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What movie demotivated you or inspired you to choose the career that you've chosen? The movie that motivated me, your boy, not good fellas. Oh, that's why you are the good fella. Yeah, good fellas, you know, it's a true story. It's a true story about a guy called Henry Hill. You understand? Yeah. The guy was just a normal guy. First time who had was in a neighborhood equally uh, oh, gangsters. Gangsters. oh yeah some Italian and whatsoever in Italian yeah but then he was a, a Jewish oh wrong place yes, no he wasn't an Italian yes yeah so in order to go through certain stuff like being made you know going up the ranks if they it was hard you can't go there if you're not Italian yeah then yeah now I say, he made his own thing. And he made his own way. Achuna, his own stuff like Henry Hill. But then you have to do what you got to do in life. Good okay. fellas. 
I won't say it's a movie or because it's a South it's a South African, it's a South African show or a soap. Oh nice. That one who the what is by this old thing? Is it thing? No, is it thing? This other show Leia Bumbuga just in the man. Oh yeah. Sokulu and partners, <laughs> babe. You know why I like Sokulu and partners? That was a time where I started seeing girls. Like these these were like, and there were beautiful women in that thing. There was this one with the cheese cup and this other yeah, one that's it. That's the one with the, yeah, the, what's her name, man? The beautiful lady. She's in Easy Dingo now. Yeah. Oh, I know, no, Sharon. Don't talk about Sharon. These kids don't know Sharon. You. Uh, there's this other lady. I'll put a picture here because ish, I've forgotten her name. She's beautiful. She's a mom, I'm sure now. But back then, hey, you know, when you're a teenager, anything. Hey, hey. Yeah, you feel like a superhero. Yeah. So cool and partners. Yeah, because nearly I mean the tons of ill or the nice. way the way those guys were doing on call and Oh nice. They, they used to win a lot. That's the first time I knew there was something called con court. Con, con, con constitutional court. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's fine. So I'm finishing up. You guys are fine. I'm just gonna score and then we move on to the next segment. Wait, wait, wait. My yeah. yeah. <laughs> own Yeah. Said Kubang. But I'm holding good. I think Oh, yeah, that's Robin. But... For you. <laughs> I always win. A life win. I'm just saying. We are popping corn. I'm still with JT and Lindo. So uh, we went and watched Blesser. The movie was amazing. The cinema experience was amazing. You saw prestige there. We were having fun and we are playing a new song underneath. So yeah, um, we're not popping corn for real. We're popping twisted from all tasty treats. She's doing the things. I don't know. I'm gonna close my mouth so that you don't see. How was the movie? What did you like in the movie? The movie was too. But then, ish, I don't like how it ended. I know. No, no. They can't do that to us. No, you can't just end like that. <laughs> Shang a question mark. Yeah, when things start building up and then out of nowhere, cut. Oh, my feet. I think everyone in the cinema was like, oh. yeah, the, the, the thing is, I think maybe they were editing, but they couldn't finish or something. Because that's not how Black Panther ends. That's not how the other films end. They should have a conclusion. The problem about the American movies. Actually, it comes of a nice thing. After that, bag money, bag muga yo na je. How can you keep? How can you open no one like here? After logo muga don't sell it. But let me go back to the film itself. I love it a lot. I love the film because it's beautiful. It's something new. There's plot twists. The girl meets her dad. There's cars being stolen. It's 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 a movie you wanna watch. I, I know I always say watch South African films because they are South African films. But this time I'm saying watch this film because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful film. I don't understand what's going on with this guy. He's busy dancing here. But it's a beautiful film for you to watch. I love the camera work. Uh, they played around with uh, moving shots. I think they were using the steady cam a bit because I could see the steady cam then. Uh, that's the only shot that bothered me. But the rest was amazing. The girl gets a boy, she gets chased out of the house. Now she's with her father. The, there's the mother. Like there's just many. I just want I don't I, I don't want to ruin the film for you guys. But there's a lot of twists. You're gonna feel disgusted. You're gonna feel in love. You're gonna fall. Um, you're gonna feel like okay. Here's the thing. One thing that I, I, I realized with this film is that they are commenting on the social ills of now, the blessers part, as well. and the fact that us, like older people and kids, are like this. We are together. We're drinking together, and people. It's been two thousand. And people still, <laughs> and people still say, "Oh, kids are disrespectful." Kids are disrespectful because you drink with them, you sleep with them, you eat with them. You understand? You are doing these things with them. While that's back right, in the days, you couldn't be chilling with your dad and drinking with them. Now they're calling our dad dude. <laughs> dude, are you okay? Dude, Come are you okay? Out. Imagine. <laughs> Timer. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we don't respect ourselves. And if you don't respect yourself, you don't respect the people. You don't respect everything that's happening. And since we are messing up the world, the world is messing us back. So that's what dad is saying. You mistreat people, they're going to mistreat you bad. 
and Blessa is amazing. I love it. So let's let's rate it. Only party that I'm a place of it. Don't say too much. Yeah, but we can't let party. We won't let them see. In other in other man. No, I think. Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why are we talking? We talk to you. Let party. I'll be mid. Oh, the why you need to teach in the paper? Oh yeah, the last part. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like I like the comedy in the film. Yeah, like there's yeah. this slab comedy that comes up. That was amazing. Sure. And uh, what I liked about it is that they included the maids. The maid had their own stories. Yeah. And the guys were having their own stories. And everything was concluded. Kanak. Like there was no delays. The ma. The, the, there was a lady that acted as uh, the guy's wife. That was dealt with. Finished. Finished. Same time. They didn't want to follow up to it. Nah. The jokes are there. Finish it. And there was nothing that felt like it was dragging. But comedies in South Africa, we do well with those. We killing it. And uh, Kenneth Nkosi, ne? Kenneth Nkosi did it. Sonia also did it. Like it felt like a nice romantic comedy. May Max with, did it. And we went, we went, we went into the story of the kids, the story of the older people. We mixed them together. So that was amazing. I love it. Let's rate it. I when rate I, it out of ten, I can give it to nine. It out of ten. <laughs> 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 I'm first time. I'm gonna give it a ten because I love this film. It was a beautiful film. You see this film, Matwaetwe and Black Panther. Those are beautiful South African films. I love them too much. I'm just saying, um, ten out of ten. I recommend it. So it's a slow from me, from us at Popping Corn. I wonder if we should still say this segment is popping corn. We're never popping corn these days. We're selling it. Go watch the film. It's highly recommended. Best South African film. Fill the cinemas. Go prestige if you can. Sharp. We have reached the last segment of the show and we are recommending films. Here's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to take you back to your past life. So we are going to go to Terminator. Terminator is coming out on the 1st. You should go watch that. There's also another one coming out on the 15th, which is Charlie's Angels. It's a remake of the, that film. So you should go watch that as well. Another film that I want you to watch, which is out of those two, uh, it's not like the other two, it's Wedding Year. So go watch Wedding Year because I'm going to be shooting a wedding soon. So I feel like you should go do that. Watch something to do with wedding so that we can have a conversation. Oh, if you are liking this, you should know. Omolimo Creations. Thank you for this. I love it. I love it. I'm going to put your, your social media handle under the description so that people can come check you out. Uh, so with that said, I just want to say stay beautiful. Love someone. Be in love. Watch films because it's your phone. You better do something. I ask you one more time to put trust on the bar. Don't say that I didn't tell now I'm off to the point.